What's going on, folks? It's the one, and it is July 4th here in the U.S., so this is the birth of the nation of the U.S., and uh, if you're celebrating, celebrate responsibly, get you some steaks on the grill, enjoy time with your family, and the day off if you're so fortunate to have it. But let's get into it today. So uh, I'm outside, and I decided to shoot from outside because the weather is, is a little bit more mild than usual, and um, so we're here. If you're a Bitcoin holder by any chance and you're looking for accessories or hard wallets or anything that can uh, help you better protect your Bitcoin with cold stores, check out the link down below for CoinKite.com. It's a, it's a shop and there's a lot of cool things in there that might uh, help you out. One of which is the cold car wallet. It's pretty cool. Open source, cold storage for your Bitcoin. Also, if you're looking to trade peer-to-peer -peer with your Bitcoin and uh, not use centralized exchanges, and um, not have to sign up, not have to KYC, check out how to HODL for peer-to-peer -peer exchange while it's still legal to do so in this jurisdiction. Anyway, let's get into it, y'all. So um, I just wanted to talk about the importance of networking. And um, of course, everything I talk about, and especially recently, has to tie into income, as income is very, very important, uh, especially during these times we've gotten a recent indicator in the U.S. yesterday. Uh, the indicator is probably the largest one that foretells a uh, coming recession, and that is the two-year yield versus the 10-year yield is inverted, but it's inver been inverted for some time, but now it's even more inverted. So therefore, they're like, oh, it's going to be, I guess it's showing more certainty of a recession, or it's just really signaling to the markets, and that is going to be more of a recession. And so when you get in these type of signals, markets react and they're going to react to uh, try to front run recession. So uh, this is where you have businesses that are going to try to front run it even more, in my opinion, through layoffs. Uh, why? Because the banks that they bank with are going to try to front run it by pulling back on credit, by trying to um, raise interest rates, you know, so forth, you know, all these types of things it's just a, just part of a recession right it's always a domino effect so uh income is very important actually multiple streams especially if you're someone trying to collect more bitcoin more assets more investments things like that so um i want to talk about the, the benefits of networking because i mean aside from your experiences and what you've been doing being able to communicate that and embellish those uh skills and those experiences that you have and whatever you've been doing to someone or to um, a market to to your audience your target market if you're trying to do a, you start your own business then um, you know you're going to want to network and the reason I say that is because you know I spent a long time out of work and you know, I've, I've conversed with former managers from uh, different banks that I've um, worked with because, you know, sometimes I reach out and uh, I like to check on people, especially people that have uh, given me opportunities. And, you know, I reached out to one and, you know, he lets me know, hey, you know, when are you coming back? You know, let me know when you're coming back. Um yeah i worked for the guy but it's more so of a thing of just being personable um getting to know people it's, you know sharing your personality sharing some things about you and also showing them that you're able to do something competently um really makes a difference and uh, for instance as well uh last year i was in el salvador for a, a bitcoin conference in november um and of course there's a lot of opportunity there because you met people from different bitcoin and crypto well more mostly bitcoin companies and exchanges you, know, you meet people from bitconnect you meet i mean a bitconnect what i'm talking about you meet people from bitfinex from galloy um you know different companies um what else uh, I just can't call them off the top of my head, but different Bitcoin companies. And then you'll meet different influencers who know 
the people that you would probably want to know. They'll know the CEOs. They'll know all of these people. And uh, so you want to introduce yourself to them. Uh, you want to uh, communicate your value. And um, basically network. You know, share contacts. Say, hey, you know what? This is what I can do for you. You know, this is something that I'm do. I, I, I uh, you know, I wash. I, I don't know, wash. But let's say this. I, uh, I maybe install software on computers. I'm able to code or I'm able to do this. I've been doing this for some time. And, and then connect on social media. And that's a good one, too. Uh, social media is a great networking tactic, but I feel like only if you met them in person. And then when you connect on social media, then they get to see a little bit more about, you know, inside of your mind and your posts and things like that. And and so what I say, I'm bringing this up because when I was in El Salvador, I met a guy from Swan Bitcoin. And, um, you know, we just chatted up a little bit. It wasn't nothing crazy, you know. Uh, and, you know, uh, we, we exchanged information follow each other on Twitter and um, you know throughout the whole throughout the rest of this bear market you know everybody kind of has a similar view when it comes to Bitcoin especially if you're someone who's a Bitcoiner for instance and uh, you know I'll be able to reach out to them and say hey what's going on man you know I would love an opportunity with with uh, Swan or with you know with whatever you guys got going on and he was just like yo what do you mean, man? Just, you know, like, come on, like, let me know, you know? And I'm like, wow, you know? And that that comes from somebody, you know, just networking, right? People knowing who you are because people open doors, no matter if you're qualified uh, on paper, you know, you want to go through the formalities of having your papers together, like your resume and things like that. But, you know, networking is very critical. And um, especially during times where there is a, um, I guess you could say there's a pullback in openings or a pullback in money floating around. You want to be where the money's at. You want to be, you just want to be where it's at. So look into that. I just wanted to share that um, and with my examples of me just being around. Just, just go places, not being afraid to go places by myself. Um... You know, I can always, for instance, I can always, every time I go to Mexico, it's love. Um, every time I go to Mexico, there's somebody that's always, you know, sharing some good information with me. You know, getting me something at a discount. Doing, You know, because I was always around in Mexico. Even though I was there, I was by myself. I moved by myself like that. Um, and I talked to people, you know. And so that's what it's about. And, you know, people are going to ask what you do and you let them know what you do, what you've done and what, what you're capable of. And that's that. And then so you putting yourself in position, what you're doing is you're building up this this account of credibility. And people are going to say, hey, you know what? Yeah, I could go over here and do this, but I know this guy and he does the same thing. So I'm going to try him out. At least that's how I think. So anyway, this video is well under 10 minutes. I just wanted to give you guys a uh, some of the things I'm thinking about today, man, and enjoy your week, and um, I'll talk to you soon.